Jason Trucker here. Welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy it. About nine years ago, we started, uh, we bought a truck, and uh, my brother did the driving at the time, and I did the mechanic work, and it just kind of progressed, and we got a few more trucks, and uh, now the trucking is one business and the farming is another and we have them all together. I was born just about nine miles from here, but it was in Lancaster County also, farming country. Well, that was one reason we started trucking some years back because the farm wasn't paying very well and trucks were paying good, but now that the fuel prices are so high and everything else is so high, why, nothing seems to make much money. <laughs> I like to do mechanic work. I just enjoy that. How many trucks have you got? Just three. Uh, what's the price of one truck? Well, a new truck right now is approximately $60,000 for the tractor, and we pull refrigerated trailers. The price of those is approximately 25000 Are you going to get more trucks? I don't think so. I think we'll just keep it about the way it is because the number we have is about all that I can handle real nice mechanically and uh, taking care of the bookwork. There's an awful lot of bookwork involved because uh, we have to keep track of all the miles we travel in each state, the fuel we buy in each state, and at the end of the quarter we have to uh, tell each state just how many miles we travel there. And it's an awful lot of bookwork involved. We've had hired drivers for, I think, about uh, five, six years. And uh, right now we have the husband and wife team and then two single drivers. And uh, we get together, you know, work together good with all of them. One time, uh, uh, during the eight years I've been driving, uh, uh, I had uh, wanted to buy my own, you know, uh, uh, to be my own boss and everything, you know. but. Uh, uh, the way things are going nowadays, uh, uh, with your, your price of fuel and uh, expenses involved in owning a truck, uh, as for myself, I prefer to work with somebody else. You know, I mean, I know I have an income every week. You know, uh, I don't know. Maybe sometime in the future, I might change my mind again. You know, but uh, that's for right now. I should have dropped to somewhere else. I pay them, but they get a percentage of what the load pays us. In other words, if a load, say a load from uh, here to Wisconsin pays $1,000, the drivers get $250. And then we keep the rest for fuel and maintenance and everything else. It's hard to make a dollar trucking right now. snow off and on the whole way in. Where are you heading for? Hanover. What do you have loaded then? Davis. Bolt. How about how heavy are you? <laughs> too much. Too, too much. much. <laughs> well. Yeah, but uh, no, it, uh, the weather wasn't real good out there at all. Truck run all right? Yeah, yeah. not too bad. It's uh, a, little oh, bit of, a little bit of a problem with the clutch. With the clutch here, yeah. Mm -hmm. More like, like sticks, you know, I mean, you yeah. have to drive yeah. it for a while, you know, and you push it in and like fine up and go first. Didn't have any trouble with bears out there, did you? No, but it, it was cold. Let's see if I can get your load lined up money to go south where it's a little bit warmer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that suits me just fine. get a load of fruit for Christmas or something. Yeah.
So how can you get customers? How are you known? Why, uh, we call brokers. In most big cities, there's a truck broker. And they work between the shipper and the trucker. And the shipper calls them and says, I have a load, say, like going from Lidditz to Chicago. Can you get me a truck? We call the broker, and he says, look, I have a load going to Chicago. Do you have a truck available? And that's, that's the way it works out. They publish a book, a fairly thick book that has a list, a list of the brokers all over the United States and tells what kind of products they haul. And How many days a year do you spend in a truck like this, in your truck? Uh, last year it was about 277 days. For the entire year. Which means about nine months a year. Yeah, seven days a week it'd be about nine months. And the law says that you must drive, you may not drive more than five hours without taking a half an hour break. Uh, you're not allowed to drive more than ten hours without taking at least eight hours. If you're by yourself, of course. If you run as a team the way we do, it enables you to keep going. as good a job as the man. Uh, this is why you, more and more companies these days are looking for, for husband and wife teams or, or, or even two women together. You started to drive with him. Yeah, and he broke his arm and he was not, of course, could not continue to drive by himself. So the man he was working for at the time agreed to let me go home and learn to drive.
Krokstop. C'est un village ramené aux dimensions de ses commodités, avec un hôtel, des restaurants, de nombreuses boutiques et même un centre météo. Il y en a des centaines à travers les états unis tous semblables. Ouvert 24 heures sur 24. Une seule restriction, on n'y vend pas de boissons alcoolisées, pas même de bière. D'ailleurs, 71% d'entre eux ne boivent jamais d'alcool. Ils se retrouvent là. C'est ici qu'ils vivent quand ils ne sont pas au volant. Ils ne sortent jamais de l'autoroute, sinon pour charger ou livrer la marchandise. Le truck stop est l'oasis de cet univers limité. Pour beaucoup de routiers, c'est la maison, le foyer, car nombreux sont ceux qui n'ont même pas d'appartement. Ils vivent dans leur camion ou au truck stop, 365 jours par an. Fatigue, inquiétude aussi. Il leur faut téléphoner au courtier pour trouver un nouveau chargement, une nouvelle destination. Dans un univers farouchement compétitif, gagner de l'argent est une hantise. Don't you think the truckers live in a special world, tougher than the other workers? To a certain extent, yeah, because we, we put up with a lot. On the road, with, uh, with other traffic and, and with, with loaders and shippers and stuff, we have to take a lot. Yeah. You compared go to what some other people involved in everyday jobs do. Yeah, you go into a city, you take a chance on being robbed, you know. And for that reason, you have to be, be willing to be a little tough at times, yeah. How are you member of the union? No. Why not? Why not? Well, because, uh, see, see, well, my employer, you know, is, he's not doing it. Uh, I... <laughs> The biggest reason why we're not yeah. members of the union is simply because Snavo brothers are not. Uh, but like you said, we share the profit with the owner instead of being on a salary. Uh, and in that way, we're different from the union drivers. The union drivers are paid so much per hour. We're paid so much per load, uh, percentage of the profit of the load. Why are strikes so tough? Is it because this is such a hard work? Industry is not surrounding itself, you know, it's the actions of the strikers themselves, you know. By throwing rocks off the bridges and then shooting at other trucks that are trying to run in the country, you know, this is what makes it so hard. How much money do you make a month? Per month, uh I'd say anywhere between $1,800 to $2,200. You mean as a couple? As a couple. Right. What is the average salary in the States? Oh, boy. Oh, it's an increase of $9,000. It's a lot of $1,200. Carol, how do you manage to live in such a manly world? How can a woman like you pass the whole day in a truck? You learn to cope. You learn to cope with the, the, the smallness of space and stuff. Uh... How do you make it a home? You don't really, you, you do, but you don't. To me, home is wherever we both are. You know, I can make my home temporarily in a motel room when we're, when we're somewhere for a few days. You know, I'm much happier that way than I would be if he was gone all the time. Uh, we're getting to see more of this country than I'd ever see in a lifetime of vacations. You know, I have a list as long as my arm as my arm of, uh, of places I'd like to go and stay for a few days and visit. You know, cities and, and areas of the country. I may never get there. I've seen them in passing. You know. <laughs>